Hey everyone, welcome back to week two of Botswana. Last week we made a beef stew and this week we're making something that goes really well with it, which is called pap. So it is a kind of like a porridge or a polenta or something like that made with cornmeal and water and it's a staple in a lot of Botswana meals. So to make this pap, it's really easy. There's only two ingredients. The first ingredient is one quart of beef stock. So I'm just gonna pour this into my pan here and we're gonna bring it to a boil. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> So I'm gonna turn this on high and we're gonna bring it to a boil. And so now that our beef stock is boiling, I have one cup of white cornmeal. So I'm gonna put this in the boiling beef stock and I'm gonna whisk it up and add it little by little. I would make sure to use white cornmeal if you have the option for this recipe. It can, I mean, the process works with yellow cornmeal, but it's far more traditional in Botswana to make this pap recipe with white cornmeal instead of yellow cornmeal. Um, it tends to have a more roasted flavor, which they really like there in Botswana. So this pap is kind of similar to a polenta if you're an Italian or porridge or something like that. Um, it's basically just two ingredients mixed together and as you cook it on the stove, it's gonna start to thicken. So right now it's pretty watery. I'm gonna keep whisking it continually until I make sure that I get these lumps out that the cornmeal has formed because we're gonna want it to be pretty smooth. And then with the pap, once it's done, you can either eat it with your hands just straight like it is, or you can use it with the um, beef stew that recipe that we made last week, the sezwa recipe. So those are both options. You can see here that it's starting to thicken a little bit. And this, this um, recipe for pap is made quite often in Botswana. It's a very big staple there. It's really cheap, so a lot of times they'll use it um, with either vegetables, they'll put vegetables in it to get a little bit more nutritional value and then eat that as a meal, or sometimes they'll mix it with milk or sugar and they'll have it for breakfast too. As you're mixing, it might start to get a little bit too thick for your whisk and then in that case I have my handy dandy backup wooden spoon and I'll use that to mix instead. Um, but you're gonna wanna keep mixing it for a little bit until it thickens just because you don't want it to stick to the bottom. But after it gets to be reasonably thick and I'll show you what that looks like, um, you can put a lid on it and let it sit for a little bit and then just stir it occasionally. It's gonna take about 15 minutes to get to the um, consistency that you're gonna want. 38% of Botswana is reserved for national parks and trophy hunting is illegal there. So Botswana actually has the highest number of wild elephants found in any country in Africa with over 50,000 wild elephants. Our pap is done. When you cook it, make sure that you serve it right away because the longer that the pap sits, the more hardened it gets. So you wanna make sure that you serve it right away. So like I mentioned, the pap is really good with the beef stew. So I made some of that beef stew. So I'm going to put it in here into my pap. And then again, as I mentioned, it's very traditional to eat it with your hands. So I'm gonna get a little dirty today. <laughs> Making a mess over here. With the beef stew, it actually adds a really good base to the stew and makes it a little bit more hearty. So it's definitely a good thing to try. If you want to try something really traditional, this is the thing to try from Botswana. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. And if you want a, res a written recipe or to read a little bit more about Botswana, head on over to my website, www.forandfork.com. I'll see you next week. So if you all are really liking these videos and you want to see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.